So I'm going to try my best to explain this because it's necessary to get to the main subject. But this all revolves around League of Legends, which I do not play. I want to be upfront about that. Never played it, actually. Don't know anything about the lore or the game itself other than it's a MOBA. But I got to explain what this virtual K-pop group is. And from what I understand, at least according to some of these articles, it was an augmented virtual reality group and they've made music. So there you go. It's like a K-pop thing or something. And the, the point that I want to stress here is that they're, they're not real. Okay. They're characters tied to League of Legends. As far as I understand, like I might be getting some of this wrong, but from what I've, I've dug up over the past two hours on this is that they are virtual K-pop stars and there's these people are attached to League of Legends. I might have brutally explained that, but I want to get to here. So you have this character, uh, Seraphine, who is a member of that group, or at least recently joined the group and is putting out music now here's the story behind this character uh this newest character to join the fantasy strategy game is a pop star who started out as a social media influencer so this character is joining the game will be in the game if this is boring <laughs> just bear with it for a second because it's going to get really good so she started out as a social media influencer for months. A virtual influencer named Seraphine was posting photos and music on Twitter and Instagram. And fans slowly started to realize that she was part of the League universe. Though it wasn't until last month that Riot confirmed it was behind the character. If you're wondering how this ties into the ever-expanding League of Lore, her backstory is particularly interesting. So there you go. Uh, that's who this character is now. You would imagine that this is a pretty standard thing and this is fine. Who cares? Well, uh, the Twitter account has been getting into a little bit of trouble. Vice, bringing their groundbreaking journalism into the into the world, decided to take the character and uh, put their target sites on it because, well, she's been tweeting about leaving her day job. That's right. A fake character, a virtual fake character, a promotional character for the game uh, is leaving her fake day job to be a full-time K-pop star and a, a vice journalist is triggered by it. Here's the account, by the way. Sira, songwriter plus producer, professional daydreamer, KDA collab since 2020. And none of this is real. This is just promotional tool for League of Legends, from what I understand. But, uh, see, these pictures that pop up and stuff, this is... This is all this is all made up. Just fun. I mean, who really cares? It's not really that big of a deal. But the journalists don't like you to have fun. So <laughs> what blows me away is it's not real. None of this is real. This is all fake. But hey, Vice. This is Vice. Groundbreaking journalism right here, folks. League of Legends fake anime pop star is sad tweeting about genocide. She's so relatable. She's got self-esteem problem, loves music, and directly benefits from the genocide of an entire race, just like you. So the reason they're saying that is because, from what I understand, the city the character is from uh, is powered by the souls of a dead race. And, uh... That's where the problem starts. She doesn't acknowledge that. Here are the tweets uh, that are causing the problem right here. Uh, we're going to Shanghai in two days, and it's finally setting in all, all at once. I've been working so hard, and I've been trying my best to love myself, but I can't find the confidence I need. I'm realizing that I can't do this alone, and maybe I need to be the one to ask for help. So could you give me some encouraging words? I need something to believe in right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the problem here is, okay? Why is this such a problem? Well, we're going to find out right now. So after complaining about the character existing, they explain that she's a musician who wants to use her musical gifts to heal her own home city and their rival city, where the oppressed underclasses uh, were cast off. And she feels the tension within herself knowing how privileged she is. 
This translates into the real-life pop star version of the character as self-esteem and mental health problems. Uh, Seraphine's social media accounts, and especially her Twitter, try to portray her as the most relatable girl on the planet with a dash of melodrama from a tween soap opera like Instastar and Gossip Girl's Jenny Humphrey storylines. Just like us, she's got a day job, a passion for music, and a dream, unless, uh, unlike us poor rubes. Yeah, right. You know how much this person probably gets paid to work at Vice? Well, let me tell you, Kotaku makes 55k base. Vice probably makes a little bit more. She gets to live out that dream by joining KD Hey, which is that virtual K-pop group I was telling you about. We, as her fans, are here to cheer her on, dutifully telling this fictional character that she can do it when she asks for our support so that she'll later show us all how she printed out our tweets and posted them on a bulletin board, which is this right here. Okay. Which is fake, by the way. <laughs> this is so stupid because this is all fake. This is a promotional tool for a game. Uh, this branding experiment is beyond perverse. It's honestly offensive. Seraphine's tweet about quitting her day job hits different during a pandemic where over 7 million people have lost their jobs. While a lot of young women suffer from mental health problems like depression or have issues with their self-esteem when they try to oppress, express themselves through art, Seraphine's tweets about her issues aren't meant as an opportunity for other young women to be open and vulnerable about their issues. It's a naked attempt to get League of Legends fans to invest, to further invest in their parasocial relationship with Seraphine. It's not that fictional characters can or shouldn't bring up the kinds of things that real people deal with, ironically, Barbie's vlogs, yes, the doll, do a great job of using her relatability and aspirational nature to create a, sa a space of safety where young girls can process complex feelings. But Seraphine isn't interested in fostering the growth of other young people. It's an emotional feedback loop directing you to more Seraphine content. Don't you see? You're one of her special favorite fans. Do you see this nonsense? This writer is, is very, very upset about this. And you can tell by the words. Probably sitting here banging on the keyboard like that while she's writing this, or he or whoever wrote this. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but what I find funny is, don't you see? This is this is supposed to direct you to more Seraphine content. Well, that's the point. They're building a brand with this character, selling songs, probably merchandise, microtransactions in the game, give you user because she's in the game. That's the whole point. It's probably why that game does very, very well. The game has been around forever, and it's still popular, and people still play the hell out of it. It's probably because of stuff like this. I've never looked into the culture of this game, but this is pretty impressive marketing, I got to say. I've never, I've never looked into this at all, and all of the stuff that they're doing about this with this game is, is I got to say, pretty impressive. Let's take a look at this really offensive tweet. Oh, so look at this. Didn't think that I'd leave my J job so soon. I'm actually going to miss working here. This is fake. <laughs> Generally upset about that. This is mad about the fake character. <laughs> this is like people that get mad about those those virtual anime YouTubers. You know what I'm talking about? Like uh, even with that Project Melody check, <laughs> get all mad about that. I find this hilarious. Like who cares? Like you don't like the Seraphine account, just don't go to it. But this person literally goes and stalks this Seraphine fake account and gets upset because they tweet about the character leaving her, J her day job. Get out of here. Oh, it's in the middle of a pandemic. Oh, my God. I mean, this is also crazy because, like I said, nothing about this is real. It's a fake character. Okay. It's a promotional Twitter. Uh, this would all be enough without the genocide angle, which is truly bizarre. Even if it's not canon to this version of the character, the tension that she feels because of it is an indelible part of the character, no matter the universe they exist in. So the point of that, I want to point that out real quick, is this isn't the character in the game, but it is. They are two separate characters. The character in the game is inspired. I don't know. Like I said, like this was all confusing to me because I'm on the outside looking into this League of Legends stuff. All I know for sure, is that this character is fake and exists for marketing reasons. Imagine being so upset about some shit that happens in a virtual world, about the way a virtual city in a video game runs, that you're mad and upset and crying, and then you're crying because a character talks about quitting their day job 
because they're successful at KD pop. And it's not even real in the first place. It's like, like uh, Tony Stark were to lose, like lose his, like quit and go work somewhere else. Or he's going to be Iron Man full time. I'm going to quit Tony. uh am going to quit Stark Industries and it's the middle of a pandemic. So I should be upset. <laughs> this is wrong with these people. This is why everyone thinks that media is a joke. This is why everybody sees Vice as a joke. Kotaku is a joke. Polygon is a joke. Because this is the kind of stuff that comes out of them. It's just like yesterday when I talked about them getting upset about strategy guides. So anyway, it's not unreasonable to think that she's a young white woman who would feel some tension taking up space during a time of extreme political upheaval. But there's no hint of that in her feed. So now they're upset because she's not talking about Biden Trump. Are you kidding? She lives in League of Legends land. <laughs> so stupid. Seraphine has no interest in the political reality that exists around her. But does it exist around her? Does it? She doesn't she doesn't live in our world, does she? Either way, who cares? That's that's not what they're that's not what they're trying to do with it. It exists as a marketing tool. Despite all the great lengths that Riot takes to draw her into our physical world, she's just interested in performing at Worlds for all the League of Legends fans that are definitely her very special best friends. Well, duh. That's the point. That's <laughs> so ridiculous. So dumb, but so funny at the same time. So, yeah, I mean, you can't even promote your games now with this. And this is like, a, I wouldn't be surprised if eventually you'll take a character like this and do like virtual videos and live streams. Like that's going to make a lot of money for companies when they figure that out. And then we'll get more articles like this to laugh at. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think. Also, throw a like up, share the video. Make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.